Hi guys, welcome to this video. So, what I want to show you today is some undead griblies for uh, for Frostgrave and other fantasy games, basically. But I'll be using them for Frostgrave. Right then, here they are. So, <clears throat> you get a fair few miniatures. What I got my hands on was Fantasy Worlds Undead Encounter by North Star Miniatures, as you can see there. Uh, what you get is 10 skeletons, 4 ghouls, and 3 zombies. Though, to be honest, you can use the ghouls and zombies both as zombies. One thing I did notice is that it's designed for Mantic, even though it's North Star figures. And of course, North Star do all of the Frostgrave figures. So, you know it's going to be a decent plastic just based on that. And here they are. Right then. So we've got lots of undead ghouls like this. I'm just going to zoom in so I can show you guys the detail better. There should do. So we've got lots of undead guys like this. We've got lots of arm options. So I was able to choose like an arm here with another arm being held as a weapon. Uh, lots of head options as well. <clears throat> this one I think would be a zombie because he's sort of barebacked. We've got this one here. He's wearing like these rags on him. And it's more of a sort of deformed face with bits hanging off. Again, the uh, the clothes kind of match the uh, the figures of Frostgrave. So this is a Frostgrave soldier. And you can kind of see that the way that his sort of clothes are there kind of matches how they've done these guys. So they fit perfectly with those with those models. Got all sorts of spikes sticking through them and things. They're really nicely uh, sculpted models. And with them being multi-part plastic, you can do so much uh, customization with them as well. This one here as well, looking pretty cool. Tried to mix them up as much as possible. There's some that I haven't painted, like this fella here. Had a few problems with him having a snapped foot. Um, so I've had to put this extra bit that comes in the pack to uh, support his knee. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly take you through some of the random designs. So we've got here a sort of golem looking fella. He's got someone else's head that he's going to lob at you if you get near him. Um, <clears throat> he's got some basic skeletons. Oh, well, he landed on his feet. With swords and uh, shields. Uh, we've got this one here. I like this guy's pose. Holding his sword completely wrong. Look at that face. It's awesome. Really, really happy with these models. I'm really looking forward to uh, to painting them up as well. Got this fella here who's obviously a soldier of some kind. He's got the chain mail and the feathers. Um, this fella here, bandishing a sword. Now some of these models, or rather some of these sort of torso and arm parts, didn't have weapons on because basically the kit comes with weapons as well. This one here is pretty cool. He's got an axe in his head. <laughs> How awesome is that? Um, unfortunately, there's a bit of a sort of mold defect there on the shield. Um, that I might scuff up with a with a scalpel or something. We've even got a skeleton coming out of the ground. We call to paint up, and a doggy. So if you're running a, uh, a leech lich warband and you need a sort of warhound, this is a great option for you as well. You can run this fella as your hound because, of course. The uh, lich, when you turn your your uh, wizard into a lich, he's not allowed to command. <coughs> excuse me, he's not allowed to command living creatures and living soldiers. So he has all these types of fellas. Yeah, so I am really impressed with the miniatures. You get lots of extra options. As you can see here on the sprue, we've got all these um, spears left over. We've got several arms, heads, random shoulder pads. Um, we've got swords, that of course you can use. Um, oh, not the camera. We've got like a bag full of hands and a foot there. It's pretty cool. Stick that on the back of a miniature. Massive like claw thing. I mean, that would be quite cool for some of the um, dark Eldar coven stuff I've been uh, working on. Hand with a big sword, a uh, bit of a cleaver. I'm um, just looking for one thing in particular, which was on one of these. We don't seem to be able to find it. Um, There's basically the head of a of a dwarf 
sort of that you meant to put on some bases or something. I have no idea where that's gone. Ah, here we go. It's on the main skeleton. Sprue, as you can see there. See the little head for the, the dwarf? This one here. Um, but yeah, I, I love it. You've even got some sort of treasure uh, things that you can put on a base and make treasure tokens from. There's such a lot going on with these kits. And for how cheap they were, I think it was 13 quid for, for what you get here, which is uh, 10 skeletons and basically 7, seven um, zombies. Of course, you then get the dog and an extra skeleton coming out of the ground as well. So, yeah, really impressed. Um, that's all I wanted to say, basically. Um, yeah, let you know, guys know that it's out here if you're looking for undead models like I was. Um, I was actually looking for them for the second scenario of um, the Dark Alchemy campaign. However, something went wrong uh, with shipping and I wasn't able to get them in time, so we had to use just some sort of... I think we ended up using the, the Dark Eldar Coven models instead of these skeletons. So it would have been much better if I had these skeletons and zombies available, basically. It's a bit of a shame. Um, but they're here now, and to be honest, one of the things that comes out of the, uh, the sort of random encounter table <coughs> in the rulebook is skeletons and zombies, so <laughs> it's nice to have these as a sort of staple for uh, for getting those on the table and, and making the games look awesome. Yeah, so if you're looking for undead, for any reason, you can't really go wrong with these guys here. There's enough customization probably to use two packs and still feel that they're randomized enough um, to look as if there's no two that are the same. So that's, that's pretty cool. Not, not bad going really, considering how many you get. Right then, um, yeah, if you uh, follow me on here, between videos, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Sorry, this is a bit of a random ending. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys.